Well, I be goddamn, Bob Arum, look at this motherfucker right here. Their boy Fred Harthorn, the motherfucking human bidet, riding this shit, uh, uh, praising Al Heyman, man. And many people will think this motherfucker has always been on this shit, but this motherfucker was a Al Heyman ass kisser one point in life before motherfucking Kelly Swanson, that old great queen of goddamn media PR, taking his motherfucking credentials because she knew what kind of fake motherfucker he was. A Hashatashi ass Negro. But uh, let's go into a little bit of his sports writing article praising Al Heyman. When success turns black, the haters turn white. There can be no greater example than that of boxing advisor Al Heyman. Heyman, who in my op opinion is the most powerful man in boxing, has over 150 current boxers under contract, including the richest boxer in the history of the sport, Floyd Money Mayweather. There has been great disapproval, and I would say borderline bigotry thrown at Heyman by notable adv adv adversaries. Jim Lampley of HBO said the Mayweather approach is not the right approach for overall enhancement of boxing. Max Kellerman of ESPN described Heyman as a character. Boxing promoter Bob Arum said when asked about Heyman, the idiocracy of Mr. Uh, Mr. Advisor and Steve Kim, who coined the phrase Heymanize, said he Heyman will ruin the Canadian market. And look, Bob, this boy puts you up in there as far as the bigots of boxing. Oh, how time changed. This 2015 article. Oh, boy, Fred riding for that L.A. Sentinel. In my opinion, in, oh, says, in my view, Heyman is taking boxing to a location that has never been on anyone's GPS system. Let's begin with how Heyman is being, uh, is being consumer friendly to boxing fans. He is taking major boxing off of premium cable channels such as HBO and Showtime and putting them, oh sorry, and putting the likes of Adrian Broner and Keith Thurman on NBC, which is as we call it free TV. Whereas the old white uh, conglomerate wants its boxing consumers to first purchase cable for roughly a hundred a uh, hundred dollars, then purchase an additional premium channel for twenty dollars. Heyman is saving the typical boxing consumer an estimated one hundred and twenty dollars a month if you have cable just to watch major boxing cards. Damn, Fred was saying all this shit. Oh my my, how motherfucking times change. When a Negro loses his goddamn credential, crouching tiger, flying, hidden dragon ass motherfuckers, God damn it! Continuing on, the average boxing fan wants action packed fights for cheap as they can get it, and that is what Heyman is doing. There is no longer a surcharge for simply just being a boxing fan. The old guard is labeling Heyman's plan as a hostile takeover, but in fact, he is simply taking money out of the old guard's pocket and putting it back into the boxing fan's pocket. I will call it the Robin Hood takeover. Oh, he was a Robin Hood at one point, goddammit. The days of boxers fighting until they're punch drunk, not in control of their physical facilities and dead broke, I believe, are over under the watchful eye of Heyman. In addition to having his fighters fight on free major platforms such as CBS, NBC, and ABC, it will allow them to be marketable outside the ring and build lifelong relationships with corporate sponsors, grossing them much-needed income outside the square circle. The sweet science of boxing can be defined as hitting your opponent as much as possible without being hit by your opponent's artillery. Heyman has held true to that definition as well as handsomely rewarding his boxers and importantly, giving boxing back to its fans for free. Oh, my God, Fred. What a great fucking article by you there, buddy. But uh, I don't think Bob Arum will approve of this shit, man. Bob Arum, his uh, human bidet up here kissing the ass of Al Heyman and shit. Thinking people ain't going to know about it because he likes to hide the fact that he's a fucking sports writer, a fucking CBS employee as an editor on the show Survivor and all that other shit. He tried to act like he got it out the mud, fake like he'd been homeless and all this other old delusionary dumb shit. 
to try to fit a profile of what fucking conservative white people tell them that black people should behave and respond like. And you see all the dividing and conquering shit he's learned from his uh, white compatriots out there in Whittier and shit and his new, uh, you know, his uh, new in-law ship that he's fucking garnered and coming in and how to be a righteous black man. You teach them black folks this. He's learned everything about black folks. Not from black folks. But uh, this is the delusional world of Mr. Fred Harthorn uh, from Barbershop Bowl Cuts. Uh, but that's all I got. Catch you on the next one. Peace.